So you want to know your Liberian artists in and out of Liberia? Yes, you can now. Salmon TV has a show called Know Your Artist. comes on every Tuesday at 12 p.m. with a repeat on Saturday at 11 a.m. Host Veronica Cardo. Or you can be a part. That is, if you have a talent that you want to share. Welcome to another episode of the show called Know Your Arty. Know Your Arty is here to make you to know all the artists in Liberia and out of Liberia. But if you want to sit on the show, you can call the following number plus 231086-654299 or 0777-1496-53. Today I have for me is still one of the Liberian gospel musicians. She's very intelligent, eloquent, down to earth. Mrs. Gossier. I hope I get in that name right, Mrs. Gossier. But before we go to our guest, let's take a short break and we will be right back. You know what he has me forget about the S. So he's here with my kid. You won't forget for a pan me or so. I'll put the S there. You have to put the S there. Let people know. <laughs> so that's the people, that's her name right there. She pronounced it. So how you been doing? How married life treating you and stuff like that? Um, okay. Bless God for everything. Um mar marriage is a blessed thing and I mean we bless God for all that. Wow. Yeah. So, how you started the whole gospel thing that you know yourself, I can sing and I want to sing for God. I want to do God work. Uh, well, um, I bless God for the gift and the courage to do this. I know um, I've been doing this for quite a long time, but um, think I've been inspired by God and by a lot of people. I'm so honored to have the privilege to be able to minister to you and to a lot of people. Wow, that's nice. So, okay, just by the age, when people see you, they say, okay, see the young girl, she's serving God and so on. During that period, you can be shame or you can be proud to serve God. Uh, well, it's, it shouldn't be a shame to serve God. The Bible says, anyone who deny me, he's going to deny you as well. So, I'm not ashamed. Uh, as a child growing up, I knew I had a lot of mistakes. So, it was a privilege and an honor to, to know God at that age. So, I was never ashamed and I will, I will never be ashamed to be a child of God. So, how many years have you been in ministry for? Um, I've been in ministry since I gave my life to Christ. That was like 2008. Okay. And I've been, I mean, it's, it, it, my ministry has been publicized for like uh, over, over nine to 10 years now. So you being a married woman and a wife that you're supposed to focus on your home and you have a children. Is there any challenges there? Being a, because you're supposed to sing for God, you I know you have series of concerts coming, and you have your children to take care of, you have your husband, your home. So, can there be any challenges? Uh, it has a lot of challenges. So, as a person, you need to organize yourself 
and tell yourself and know your priorities. So uh, I know I've been, I've been silent for quite a while, for like over two years because of child bearing. Uh, for us women who's uh, into singing and I mean singing ministry, it gives, it gives us a lot of, you know, break in because you have to look after your kids, you have to look after them, they have to grow and know themselves because Bible also talk about whom, uh, I mean, your first ministry is your home. So, I mean, there are a lot of challenges, but you just need to know your priorities and know where you can set. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. I see most often when I'm witnessing your video that your husband always playing the organ. It's not a musician or he just there to support you? Uh, he's a musician, he doesn't sing, but he teaches choir and he's a keyboardist. Yes, and he's a minister also. Okay, that's nice. So you guys, you should go on concert together? Or? Yes, sure. So you go around concert, leaving the children? There can be any issues sometimes? Uh, it used to have, like I said earlier, I said, um, I've been off for like two years because um, leaving the kids, my husband and I can't go together. We have to, one person have to stay back to look after the children. So for like two years, I've been off. And I mean, but I bless God. Now we have someone who we trust can look after them while we are out. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, no, I'm so impressed because it's not easy to do God work. People say easy, but I mean, I say it's not easy to do God work, especially when you are in public figure and you lay mistake you make and you know, the work and carry. So how can you get your song, your inspiration? How can you? Um, I believe by the leading of this, the Holy Spirit, those lyrics come. I'm a child of God, so uh, once I'm spending time, yeah, the Holy Spirit gave me lyrics, he gave me a uh, song, and then I just write what he gives me. So, in which year you and launched your first album, and what was the name? Um, it was 2017, okay. I had my first concert, and the name of the concert was uh, In the Name of the Lord. That was one of my first songs that I wrote in the name of the Lord. So, yeah. Okay. And the second was 2019, 2018 or 2019. Wow, that's nice. So apart from you being a musician, is there anything that you do? Okay, so I'm an entrepreneur. I do business. Um, and I'm an administrator. Mm -hmm. I work at a cable consortium of Liberia. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. So, you know, you know, it's so inspiring that the world will know that Liberia have a great person and we are moving gradually it's not a matter of age it's not a matter of okay because during those days people used to say that older people is the one that can serve but that was people saying but not the bible saying but right now i know that god is god he using everyone anyone that make their self available i hope i'm getting i'm, I'm speaking a pastor man right yes sir. anyone that make their self available so if i say i want to be a musician right and i don't know how to sing how do you think that when you hear my song what can you say at that point that the song is not found the voice is not okay what can you say at that point uh <laughs> for me singing is uh singing if you want to be a mini if you if you are called to be a minister it's not mm -hmm. about the voice Somebody will say no, it's about the voice, but it is what God has given you to give to his people. Mm -hmm. So God won't call you to what he knows you're not capable of doing. So he will call you to exactly what he knows that you can do. So if he trusts that you can sing and he has given you the voice to sing, well, it doesn't matter how fine it is, and all that matter is the blessing that you're going to render to other people. So guys, we are staying here on the program, know your item, and not forgetting, Tama TV has a program called Marital Vow. We want you to know, and Marital Vow is very important if you have issues in your marriage, it's good for you to witness that movie, or let's say witness that episode, that it will help you teach you about marriage, teach you how you can conquer your marriage. So with that, let's take a short break and we'll be right back.
It's safe with me. It's safe with me. Thank you for saving my heart. Forever, my boob. I love you. Cole, do you take Sean to live together in the union of marriage, to take him as your best friend and partner in life? Thank you. Sean, do you take Nicole to live together in the union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life? Welcome to this mind-blowing, captivating, and educational show, Marital Vow. Right here on Tama TV, only for you, our dynamic audience. The essence of this show is to analyze the topic marital vows and how important the words have been expressed in institutionalizing couples. Today, many marriages have been expressed these vows, and the question remains, how concrete it is, what is the importance of the vows, how helpful it is in marriages, or it is just for formality. According to marital vow, I promises each partner in a couple makes to others doing wedding ceremony based upon resting numerous and others. They are not universal to marriage and not necessary in most legal jurisdictions. The bottom line in our society is to know how important these words are. Stay with me, Veronica Carter, for the fascinating time on your favorite television. So, welcome back, people. So, is there any song that you own your mind right now that you want to do? <laughs> Looking at the country now, right now, about uh, when it comes to spiritual aspect of life, my girl, talking about spiritual things here. Yeah. Uh, the sing, you mean the sing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, this is one song, I will just sing the chorus and um, I hope it blesses you, it's called In the Name of the Lord, I just said I did one of my mm -hmm. albums, uh, 2017, so it's like oh, In the name of the Lord, there mm -hmm. is fullness of joy mm -hmm. In the name of the Lord, there is peace, there is hope In the name of the Lord there is liberty, they that run and swim, they are safe in the name of the Lord. There is fullness of joy in the name of the Lord. There is peace, there is love in the name of the Lord. There is fullness of joy, they that run and swim. Day, I wow, I mean, that's nice. You know, there is one question I always ask you. Have you been in a, a musical school, like a voice training school before? Mm, no, I want to say, uh, you have to be, the gift it has to be given to you by God. If you haven't had the gift, God has given us different talents. Bible says that He gave some uh, pastors, He gave some. Um, music and get some evangelists and there are different different talents God has given us. Yeah, uh, the reason being I always ask the question because most often I see musicians going on the bees trying to train their voice and go to musical school because they want a great voice and some people say okay no I have to pray because if God sent me to do X, Y, and Z he have to back me up. So that's why I always see people doing that going on the beach. That was the key reason I asked the question. So you have any concept coming up right now that on your mind that okay, I want to launch this song. I want to launch that song. Okay, in so twenty twenty two. So um, this year it's another year that my team and I we've decided to go beyond. You know what everyone would do. Mm -hmm. So it is not all about doing concert, it's all about being a blessing to uh, people, the less privileged and I mean the Zogos and people who think that we need us because that's what the, the Bible requires of us. So we are doing a, a worship evening but it's, the date is not yet set mm -hmm. but we know it's around the, uh, I'm sorry, May or June. Uh, hopefully after um, the last week in May or hopefully the first week in June. So that will be a worship evening, but the date and the time will be will be given later. But now that's we I mean we have a lot of things we're gonna do this year. We wanna wanna 
uh, make a service to you and that you always come to us so yeah talking about zoho you guys go into the zoho camp to sing for it i want to know how ready with how you connect zoho um, it's not about going there to sing it's about uh i mean rendering services to them maybe by giving them food okay and giving them the gospel those of them that wants to give their life to christ will be there to you know to lead them to christ okay so what would that concert be is that at the soko camp or at the mm, church no the, the it's, it's different category of events that we're gonna have okay to go to the soko it's just it's just one event that we, our team will have when we go to them and render services to them so going to uh, having this the concert is another day what we're going to have with people who give uh, invitations to i mean the invitations will be given to everyone but it's going to be a set day okay and we're also going to have um a young woman uh, uh singing nights okay yeah so that's one of the events that we're also going to, we're going to have seminars for young uh, worship leaders people who are interested in being a worship uh, leader we're also going to have seminars for them so that different events we have Okay, so if people want to get to you for concerts, how can they get to you? I'm talking about social media, I'm talking about physical and stuff like that. Okay, so if you if you if you interested, my number is 086 914258. Repeat. 086 914258. And social media? Uh Danta S Gondier. D A N T A and the S in the middle and G O N D E A. Okay, that's the woman done that for you there. So if you want to get up on concert, she's very down to earth. You can call her numbers that she just indicated so you will get to her. In case of anything, feel free to ask her questions when you want to use her. Like we say, pastor at the church, you can invite her. She is available at any time. She did not pay money to get what she has. God give it to her. It's a free gift, like she already stated. So you guys can get to her too if you want to use her. Do not say hey, ha. And talking about you saying, you know, some people like say some people will not want to call you and stuff like that. But going to your church, which church? Okay, I'm from the Harvest Intercontinental uh, Ministry. That's former Bethel Cathedral. Location? Concord Town is right. Uh, Concord Town, right? When you're coming from the VH Junction, it's after Cap. Catholic Junction, mm -hmm. then when you're coming from town, it's after Lone Star on your right. Yeah. Okay, before we go, you're just going to do a short song for us, and at the end of this song, you're going to give an advice to people, to young ones, and people that are out there mm -hmm. that there is God that we serve. Ah, okay. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> but that one can be a different song. Just one of your hits, like people know because people make a lot of songs, but there are certain songs that can make it to boof. Yeah. Okay, so this is one, one of my popular songs, it's mm -hmm. called Hosanna. Mm -hmm. And maybe most of you may have heard it on radio. Mm -hmm. So it's Hosanna, Hosanna, yeah, hallelujah to my king. Mm -hmm. Hosanna. Hosanna, hallelujah to my King. Hosanna, mm. mm. Hosanna, hallelujah to our King. Hosanna, mm. mm. Hosanna, hallelujah to my King. Wow, the verse is like Amen. marvelous. Trust me, you know, when you were singing the chill on my skin and when you meet people of God that people that serving God diligently eh, you don't have they don't have to explain but when they open their mouth you feel the Holy Spirit you feel that there, there is a God that they serve you feel that there are some seed that have been planted into them but they just want to discover that seed so what advice you get to give to people before we go um so mainly my ministry is with young people mm -hmm. um, I just want to say to you, you young person, what a war occur, that there is nothing that can ever come out right without God. You need God to be able to succeed in life. Whatever you're doing, uh, you need God in the middle. 
If you have not accepted Jesus, I encourage you to find a Bible-believing church that you can worship with and give your life to Christ. Because the Bible says that the end time is near. And you don't want to go to hell. No, no. Hell is not a good place at all. So I encourage you, if you have a bad habit, whether it's smoking or you're, you're um, a lesbian, or you're gay, there is still a chance for you. You can still make a change. And God is willing to accept you. Bible says that Jesus came for the lost sheep. So if you have not given your, your life to Christ, you are a lost sheep. So Bible, Bible says that Jesus has come for you. So he's willing to receive you and accept you. So God bless you and have a wonderful day. Okay, so people, let's take that into consideration because it's very important to all that we are in the end time. The end time is near. You have to dress close to God and He will dress close to you. You have to know God for yourself. It's very, very important. Thank you for watching Know Your Auntie. My name is Veronica Cardo. You have a blessed day. Do you want to know your Liberian artists in and out of Liberia? Yes, you can now. Salmon TV has a show called Know Your Artist. It comes on every Tuesday at 12 p.m. with a repeat on Saturday at 11 a.m. Host Veronica Cardo. Or you can be a part. That is, if you have a talent that you want to share, 